The finding is an opera about the consequences of war and a grandmother searching for her, her lost child. It comes out of the background of um, the political struggle in Argentina and the military junta taking over in 1976 and the grandmothers of the Plaza del Mayo. The chorus are the mothers and the children and they also represent a heath which is the internal world of the grandmother and her psychology. They also represent quite a disruptive element. Chaos comes to mind. We're working at how we can work with that and that's interesting dramatically in terms of disruption and during you know war people's lives were constantly interrupted by something else. We have been researching quite a lot about factual accounts and looking into the grandmothers who are just this incredible force. But we wanted to lift this into something slightly different, so it's not just a retelling of their story, abstracting the story slightly so that it feels something more universal. I think it's really important to talk about the fact that it comes from a place that's quite dark material, quite intense, difficult material, but that there's also lightness and that there's a celebration of female strength, actually. And so here it is, this, this piece that has a female voice at its centre. <laughs> We've had a few discussions about time and the structure of the piece and I think we're, we're finding really interesting things because there are all these layers about whether this is real time, real events, played back memory time, psychological space which is the heat and then how the music reacts to that as well. It seems like the music is very much glued on to this time approach. Some of it's devised, I mean this morning Lawrence, the cellist, and I were improvising around the rhythm of women writing words in chalk on the floor and trying to mimic the sounds of it to try and almost colour the action and the text, the libretto that Zoe's written. It can be interpreted in many ways, it's not at all literal, which is wonderful because that's what you hope an audience member gets out of it, those conflicting or different ideas. <laughs>